Hello there ladies and gents, my name is Story and welcome back to another Destiny 2 weekly reset video and what a fine weekly reset video it is indeed. We're running from the 17th of July up until the 24th of July and some very special things have happened because update 1.2.3 has landed and I'm going to show you probably one of the most impressive things. We've got bounties back, remember these from D1? We've got bounties. I'm not going to spoil everything here, but pick them up from Zavala and we've got bounties from Shaq. So that's Vanguard and Crucible bounties returning from Destiny 1 back into Destiny 2. That's fantastic. And here they are. There's five to pick up. There you go. Look, expires one day and zero hours after purchase. So I'm assuming these are daily bounties once again. So yeah, that's very interesting indeed. What have we got to play with then this week in Destiny 2? Well, as always, Nightfall, Leviathan, Call to Arms, Clan XP, Heroic Strikes have all reset. Flashpoint this week is on IO. And Faction Rally is back. I believe this is the last Faction Rally in Season 3. So go ahead and pledge to your remaining faction if you were uh, ground through everything uh, beforehand. Um, and we've got some bits and pieces here. We've got Heroic Strikes playlist. Um, what is the modifier this week? We've got Void Singe, and today we have Grounded and Heavyweight. For the Nightfall this week, we have the Inverted Spire. The Strike-specific loot for the Inverted Spire is a ghost by the name of Trichromatica. I don't have it, I wish I did, otherwise I would show it to you, but I don't, so I can't. Um, the Crucible has had some changes. Look at this, we've got... Uh, some more playlists now. We've got usual quick play, but this time it is permanently 6v6 as opposed to 4v4. That's a new change with update 1.2.3. Uh, competitive matchmaking has changed. Uh, players will be now matched on their glory ranking, but uh, I dare say you'll be hit up with a full patch notes video on Planet Destiny at some point very, very soon. Rumble is back. Uh, this should be a permanent playlist. I do hope so. I love me a bit of rumble. And then we've got a weekly rotary playlist, which this week is Supremacy 6v6. All righty then. Shall we sash iron over to Tess and see what she's flogging this week and if there's anything different? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Tess is flogging a new destructive research bundle. Let's have a look. That's got the ornament for Polaris Lance. Very sassy look and some medallions and business. We've got Popcorn Emote, which is definitely one of my favorites. Look at this. Can you believe this? Oh my God, are you getting all this? Look at that, it's just crazy. And then we've got uh, Applause for moments where your fire team members do things that uh, it's very special. And then we've got a nice um, Exotic Sparrow. I'm not even getting Azure. Azure as a yellow, yellow, yellow. That's how it's pronounced now, according to me. We've got the class item as well as Capriolinax de Caprio, as you've seen in the Titanic. That's a warlock ornament for the Steg. Yes, and this is fantastic news. Look at this, Carina Nebula. If you missed your chance at getting this ornament for Graviton Lance during Crimson Days, well, now's your chance. Resurrection time, because it's back and you can have it for 1250 of your uh, bright dust there. The same with the sweet business ornament. Go about your business. There you go. They were exclusive to Crimson Days and now they're back. So you can take those away. Silver bullet, silver bullet for the Crimson. Very beautiful indeed. And the Red Dwarf for Sunshot. My favorite Sunshot ornament. Look at that. Dominus Ghoul effects. I'm actually going to buy myself some of these. I, I, I've never had a single one of these ever. So I'm picking up a few and putting them on my ships. I'm telling you that. This was rare as hell for me before. So I'm having those. I wish you could preview them. Oh, you can. Look at that. Now you can preview them. That's fabulous. Should we do it again? <sighs> Excellent. That's got to be new, isn't it, ladies and gents? You can preview the stuff now. How about the Ark one? Very nice indeed. I love that now that you can preview those. We've got a whole bunch of shaders that you'll recognize. These are all vanilla defaults as well as your medallions and stuff there. Ladies and gents, shall we go and see what our favorite Benedict is selling us from the raid this week? Hello there, Benjamin9940. What do you have for us this week? We've got the Prestige Leviathan Helmet. We have the Normal Mode Leviathan Gauntlets, the Normal Mode Chess Piece, the Normal Mode Booties, the Eater of Worlds um, Class Item, as well as the Inaugural Address Pulse Rifle. Very nice pulse rifle. Takes a shader. Does it take a shader? It really does. Look at that. It's fabulous. Anyway, faction rallies are back. So we're going to visit people. Remember, it's a bit trickety with the old faction rally business. Let's see, Uncle Triple Wreck. You've got to visit these guys first before you can pledge. Oh, no, actually, you don't. I don't have to... Uh, 
I don't have to visit them first. Normally, you would have to go and visit them and talk to them in turn. But I can actually pledge to the final faction here. So uh, you might want to double check this if it's the same kind of thing for you. But I'm going to go ahead and pledge new monarchy because I haven't done that before. So it's going to happen. There's no going back now. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. So I'll be earning my stuff and going for the sweet business catalyst as well as the ornament for Crest of Alpha Lupi. And maybe if they win, we'll get a rocket launcher that probably none of us will ever use. I don't know. Would we use this? It looks fantastic. Look at that. Don't you just wish guns, things look like that good could be meta. It's the same with this pulse rifle as well. I think that looks fabulous. That looks really, really good. How about the, um, oh, yes, please. I'll have that. Absolutely amazing stuff. That is this weekly reset from the 17th of July up until the 24th of July. Oh, before I forget, Escalation Protocol. Now, last week... They pulled the rug from underneath me last week. It wasn't in, indeed the shotgun. It was all guns dropping. So I have a suspicion now that all guns are going to be available each week. I can't imagine they'd go back to uh, just a single weapon dropping. It would make more sense to have all three guns dropping for Escalation Protocol now. So... If anything's different, by all the means, sound off. I just don't... This video needs to go out fast. So I can't go and farm, I can't get a team together and go and farm Escalation Protocol in the hopes that something will drop. The video would be way, 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 way late. So uh, that's what's happening. So let me know in the comments if you get a specific item or if, you know, if all three are dropping. My suspicion is all three are dropping, being as last, what happened last week when it should have been a shotgun. It should have been the shotgun last week, but no, all three were dropping. So that was two full weeks of all three weapons dropping. So yes, I suspect that would be the most sensible thing to do have all three dropping from now on but let's see let's see what happens with any apologies that i can't give you that exact information but that is my guess and um i hope you forgive me anyway take care of yourselves take care of each other and remember smokers a kipper we'll be back for breakfast <laughs>